Welcome back to Physics Forum. So, in the previous videos, we have already seen how to calculate center of mass of different continuous bodies. In this particular video, we are going to calculate center of mass of continuous body in which a part of it is taken from, taken out from it, right? So, this is how we are going to introduce concept of negative mass. So, let's understand this concept with an example. So. We have a disk of radius r in which a smaller disk of radius r by 2 has been taken out from it, right? So this disk of r by 2 has been taken out from taken out from this entire disk. So in that case, where will be the center of mass of this remaining disk that is created after removing this part right so first we define our axis so this is my x axis and my y axis now this system is equivalent to two systems this system is equivalent to two systems this entire disk and minus the part which has been taken out from it. So this part has been taken out from it. Now, as we can see from symmetry, we can definitely say that center of mass will be slightly shifting in this direction, right? Had it been a complete disk, its center of mass would have been lying exactly at its geometrical center. Now this part has been removed from it. So we can expect from symmetry that center of mass will be shifting towards negative x axis. This cannot shift along y axis because this part is symmetrical with respect to x axis on both sides, right? So y uh, center of mass cannot be shifting along y axis. It will only shift along x axis. And that two in negative x axis, right? Now the, this system is equivalent to two system. One is complete disk, and second is disk of a smaller radius, that is r by two, which has been taken out from it. So we will treat it as a negative mass, right? We will treat it as a negative mass. So how to calculate center of mass of this particular system? So first thing we need to uh, understand that. Uh, First, we have to assign these axes x and y for both the parts. That is, we have to stick to this particular coordinate system, right? In both the cases. Now, as it is a complete disk, so its center of mass would be lying at its geometrical center. So the, its coordinate would be 0, 0, right? And coordinate of this disk, which has been taken out from it, that would be r by 2 comma 0. Now we call it mass m1 and we call it mass m2. So we may say that xcm will be m1 x1 minus m2 x2 by m1 minus m2. Right? This can be written as this. Here we have used negative sign because uh, this will be this part has been taken out from it so this will be treated as negative mass right so what we have done we have converted this entire disk into a particle system we can assume that its center of mass would be lying here and its center of mass would be lying here so basically we have two coordinate system two two particle masses one is placed over here and another is placed over here and this is my x axis and its coordinate is 0 comma 0 and this its coordinate is r by 2 comma 0. So this entire contrast body has been converted into two discrete systems having coordinates 0 comma 0 and r by 2 comma 0. Right? We can definitely calculate center of mass of this discrete system. We know how to calculate it. There we used to take m1 x1 plus m2 x2 but as this mass has been taken out from it so that would be treated as negative mass. So this would be m1 x1 minus m2 x2 by m1 minus m2. Now, as this is a uniform disk, so m1 can be written as sigma a1 
x1 minus sigma a2 x2. Sigma is surface mass density into area and sigma a1 minus sigma a2. So in that case, this comes to be a1 x1 minus a2 x2 by a1 minus so a1 would be would be how much? This would be pi r square and x1 is 0. A2 is pi r by 2 whole square into r by 2, right? By pi r square minus pi r by 2 whole square. So this comes to be this is minus pi r q by 8 divided by this would be 3 pi r square by 4 so this comes to be minus r by 6 so center of mass of this remaining system would be somewhere here that is at a coordinate of minus r by 6 comma 0 so this is how we use concept of negative mass in calculation of continuous body in which a part of it is taken out from it right so that's it that's all for this video uh, i hope you like my video if you like my video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you for watching thank you so much